We just finished painting garage floors with this uh, Rust-Oleum epoxy shield and I wanted to show you how it turned out. Hi, I'm Ron Falk, designer of the Smart Wood Shop and a lot of workbenches. If you want to get a set of my plans, you can click on the link right here in the description of this video. Okay, so here's the finished product. It turned out beautiful and it was easy to apply. You can see that we picked this light gray color and then we have these colored flakes in it and it just turned out absolutely gorgeous. Now this is a, a project video. I'm going to do a bunch of little ones of all the various little projects we're doing on this much larger um, home that we built. Uh, my wife and I built in, um, we st actually started with the design and everything, figuring it out in 07, built it mostly in 08, and finished it up in the very beginning of 09. But the owners uh, moved away and used it as a summer home for a number of years, and now they're moving back in as their full-time home. And so we're doing a lot of projects to kind of rehabilitate it. You know, it's an 11-year-old house, and so it's time to uh, fix things up. Originally, we painted this floor with a single-part water-based gray, it held up well, it's, it was repainted once before, and this time we decided to stick with the water base, but we did a two-part two and added in these flakes. And according to the box, this will last, um, it's more durable and will last um, five times longer than the standard floor paints, uh, which have done a good job and held up well. In fact, the only thing we really had was kind of tire lift. But the way it worked was we, I bought three of these. This is a two and a half car garage kit. So I got three of these and we had this garage, which is a four car and another very large one car that we did with it as well. And I'll try to get that video as well. We had one package left over. So each uh, box came with two packages. So they came with a, an etching, which this would have been if we had been doing new garage floor we would have etched it, and, you, and if there's any sealer, you have to get the sealer up because it'll prevent this from going in. But we didn't need to do that because um, it, we were going over existing paint. And then it comes with these packages of flakes, and I'll show you uh, how the painter, I had my painter do this, how he um, came up with an idea that I thought was pretty ingenious to give this real nice pattern really easy. So the way it works is you get this package and it's a two part, it's a big bag and um, you open it up and it mixes in the bag and then you just uh, squeeze it out. And so we had two guys, one guy had a big roller on a stick and he was just standing there rolling it. The other guy was uh, just spilling it on the floor, squeeze, squeezing it out of the hole in the bag and just enough and he'd roll it and they get a good section rolled and then spread the flakes and then go on and do a little bit more. So it was really quite easy. Um, but what the painter did was he grabbed one of these uh, seed casters or I guess it's just a handheld uh, Scott's um, deal for doing your lawn. You know, everybody, most people with lawns have something like this to uh, spread fertilizer and seed things. But he just put the flakes in here and um, then um, just spun the, the lever and it just kind of threw it out there in a nice pattern. And so, you know, really quite easy. And like I said, uh, just absolutely gorgeous. And it'll be interesting to see if this does hold up better than the single part. Again, it's still a water-based, uh, so it's easy to clean up and um, easy to apply. Well, if you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the channel with others. Thanks for dropping in. Have a great day.